Please welcome back Mike Berbiglia. Mike Berbiglia. Mike Berbiglia. Mike Berbiglia. Mike Berbiglia. I, I had my Berbiglia x-rayed a couple of months ago. You don't want to play fast and loose with your Berbiglia. No, it's Berbiglia. It's Berbiglia. He's Italian. I know how to speak Italian. It's Wait Mike Berbiglia. We're not, uh, we're not real Italian. We're like Olive Garden Italian. Oh. <laughs> I had this dream that I was in the Olympics for some kind of arbitrary event like dust bustering. <laughs> And they told me I got third place, and, and I stood up on the third place podium, and I'm feeling good about myself, I'm new to the sport. Uh, <laughs> and, and they say, actually, you got second place. And I move over to the second place podium, and it starts wobbling. And it's wobbling and wobbling, and I wake up, and I'm falling off the top of our five-foot bookcase <laughs> in our living room. And I land on the floor, hard, on top of our TiVo. And it, I know. And it, and it breaks into pieces. It was like one of these stories you hear where people black out drinking, they wake up in Idaho, they don't know where they are, they're just like, oh, no! Hardee's, you know, or whatever's there. But it, it was in my own living room. I was just like, ah, TiVo pieces. My girlfriend woke me up in the morning and she says, Michael, what happened <laughs> to the teapot? <laughs> I got second place. <laughs> At this point, I started researching this because it seemed very dangerous and I found out that I wasn't alone. I mean, there are 78 known sleep disorders, things that range from sleep apnea to night terrors to narcolepsy. Narcolepsy is particularly terrifying because there are people who fall asleep at any time for any reason. There are female narcoleptics who fall asleep the moment they reach orgasm. Uh, I, I was thinking you could call these women men.